So today we're gonna do uh, warm compresses on patients after the procedure. As you can see, the patient still has this compression stocking together, so this happened right after the procedure. We're gonna grab a towel about this uh, length. We're gonna um, turn it into four small pieces. It's gonna be about like that. We're gonna put it in warm water. And once we put it in warm water, we're gonna grab a thin bag and we're gonna put it in the bag so that the compression stocking doesn't get wet. And we're gonna start slowly. We're gonna put it in, in one area first and then we're gonna do a massage in a circular motion for about three to five minutes until the towel uh, cools down. Once the towel cools down, we do it again. We put it in warm water and then we put it on another section of the leg and we continue doing it again for three to five minutes. And uh, once the towel cools down, we do it again, warm water, and then we put it even in the lower area uh, for three to five minutes in a circular motion. Uh, if you don't feel, if you feel a little bit of pain while you're doing this, that is normal, that you should be feeling. If you don't feel that, then you're not doing it correctly. Um, and it's gonna go from here to about here every time you do the compression, the, the warm compresses on the leg. Now, um, the incorrect form to do it is you cannot do this. That is not correct. We don't want you to do that. Um, also, if you do the towel by itself, it's gonna get the compression stocking wet, so we don't want you to do that either. Um, if you're doing the whole towel like this, that is also incorrect. You're not supposed to do it like this. It's too big. We need to cut it by sections. So, this is what we discussed about compressions, and this is about the size of the of the towel you're supposed to use. And remember, it's gotta be by section. And this is uh, warm compresses after the procedure while the patient still has the compression stockings on. Thank you. So today we're gonna do uh, warm compresses uh, after the procedure on a patient who had a, a laser done. We're gonna use a towel about this big. We're gonna uh, bend it in like four sections so it ends up being about that big. We're gonna put it in warm water. Uh, and then we, or you can put it in the microwave for 30 seconds um, so that it's nice and warm. And then we're gonna start at the upper part of the procedure where the bruising is, and you're gonna start doing it in a circular motion with a little bit of pressure on it. You're supposed to feel some pain, um, and that is, if you feel that, that means you're doing it right. This is the correct way to do it. We're gonna do it between three to five minutes. Uh, once the towel gets cold, then uh, you'll go ahead and put it back in warm water or in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then put it in the lower section. And then do it again for three to five minutes um, until it gets cold. Once it does it again, we do it again in the microwave or in warm water, and we continue all around till we get to below the knee. Um, this is the correct way to do the warm compresses. Um, doing it like this does not work. Uh, doing it like that also does not work. Letting water run through it doesn't work. It specifically needs to be done like this by sections you know, with some pressure on it, and then it, it cools down, and we put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then we continue until we go from here to about here. Um, and you'll see how all those bruise will disappear within days. You can do it one, two, or three times a day, depending on your schedule, but it's gotta last about 15 to 20 minutes to finish the entire leg. Um, this has been warm compresses uh, post-procedure. Thank you.